Renshaw Tun has match heading for draw. A wonderful unbeaten 234 from Nick Brown helped Essex put on 505 declared against Somerset at the Cloud County ground, but time was starting to be an issue. Somerset had started well too. 99 for one at the end of the second day, Renshaw and Abel at the crease and looking set. It was a patient start from the pair, but they would find their fluency and Essex struggled to make inroads. With a single off Snater, Renshaw went to a 50, score from 139 balls. And the captain Tom Abel soon joined him. His half century picked up off 105 deliveries. Somerset solid at the start of day three. With a reverse sweep for one, Renshaw moved the value of the second wicket partnership to three figures. He looked in good touch. Critchley lifted back over his head and down the ground for four to move the score to 150. Essex couldn't find the wicket they wanted before the break. Somerset strolling in on 186 for one. The deficit reduced to 319. An early boundary after the break from Renshaw saw the value of his stand with Abel move to 150 from 306 balls. And with a single off Harmer, Somerset moved beyond 200 runs, the wicket offering the Essex attack little assistance. It was all about the Aussie in the opening exchanges of the afternoon session. With a single off Critchley, he brought up his 100, scored off 233 balls. The partnership came to an end in disappointing circumstances. Abel retired not out on 90 with an injured hamstring. The captain looked in some discomfort as he limped off. Bartlett came in to replace him and started with intent. Early boundaries pushed the score towards the halfway mark in their chase for parity. He hammered Harmer for six, watching on as the ball sailed over the bowler's head and over the ropes. But the spinner got his own back. Bartlett out caught by Brown at short leg, attempting the reverse sweep. The visitors were trailing by 217 when they headed in for tea. Somerset up to 288 for two. With a Goldsworthy four off Snater after tea, Somerset had 300 on the board. And they soon had a 50 partnership as well, chalked up off a patient 109 balls. The score was up to 324 when Renshaw fell four runs short of his 150. Buttleman, the sub keeper, got round well to take the catch off Aaron Beard's bowling. Rue joined Goldsworthy in the middle, and Essex were stopped in their tracks. The follow on avoided before the close of play. 350 on the board, and Somerset had all but denied Essex the win already. When they wandered off at the end of the day, Somerset were on 359 for three, trailing now by 146, and with just one day left, any chance of a result looks to be done and dusted. The penultimate stay of the contest had been a superb one for the visitors. Barring a catastrophe or a miracle, whichever way you look at it, a draw looks the most likely outcome when they return to the Cloud County ground for the final day. Bye.